conservation and management of energy resources. So now, first of all, we will see that how you can reduce the consumption. Conservation, if you see the meaning of conservation means conserve th something, save something. And management means how you manage it means use efficiently. This one. So we'll talk about this one. What are the ways by which you can use the energy in a good way and you can reduce its consumption? Number one, reducing the amount of energy used to heat a building. Not in our countries like uh, we are living in Saudi Arabia or you're living in Sudan. So in that case, you don't need the heat to heat the buildings because already these countries are hot. But the countries like uh, you can say UK and uh, European countries, so in that it is too cold, the climate is cold. And so they need a uh, heat to make their homes or buildings warm otherwise it is very difficult to live there so a lot of amount of heat is used annually in those buildings to make them hot or to keep them as a reasonable temperature so you can reduce the amount of energy used to heat a building how you can reduce it inshallah we will see in the further heading how you can reduce the heating energy Number two, using more equipment and less energy is energy if the equipment uses energy efficiency, reducing the amount of energy used to heat the building in the colder climate. Now, every time, if you see that new inventions are coming, for example, before you have the light bulb, okay, you have the light bulb and this light bulb was used to get light. As a physics student, you should know that the efficiency of this bulb about 30%. It means that if you are giving it 100 joules of electric energy, from that 100, it was converting 30 into light and other 70 was, it was form of heat. So we used a lamp for the light, not for the heat. So this 70% was wasted efficiency only 30 percent now what they did they replaced the bulb with tube lights like rods and for a long time the rods these tube lights were used now they are also replaced by led lights so what they are doing they are making the equipment more and more efficient Efficient means less energy is wasted. So they can reduce the amount of waste of energy. So in the same way, they're saying that when they're using the energy to heat the buildings at that time, if they're using a heaters for this purpose, so they should use the heaters which will reduce the amount of energy which is wasted. So that's known as energy efficiency a machine which will convert more useful energy and convert less waste energy that's known as more efficient in physics you are doing the efficiency formula so now this is another way you can reduce this one after that standard houses now now what is the main purpose now for example you have this house this is your house outside temperature let's say it is six degrees celsius you put a heater inside your house and due to that heater the temperature inside your house let's say 25 degrees celsius outside is six and inside is five you know that heat heat always flow from high temperature to low temperature. 
it means heat will go from house to outside so you have to reduce this heat loss if you will reduce this heat loss for example you turn on the heater for 5 minutes for 25 minutes let's say and after that the temperature become 25 after that even you will switch off the heater and heat is not going outside so your room will be remain hot for a long period of time maybe for 2 3 hours but if your house is releasing the heat outside so the temperature of the room again start to decrease maybe after some time to become 10 degrees celsius again and again you need a heater to make it 25 so by this way the energy is wasted so what you have to do you have to stop this heat loss so how we will stop that one we will see now